have had quite the morning, but like I said yesterday, um, we need to find some Disney fabric so I can buy it and hope that I do a three yard quilt, which I'm not 100% sure I'm gonna get to it, but we're gonna buy it anyway. And somebody wanted to see all the Christmas fabrics that they had, so I figured I would bring you guys with me since this store is epic and you guys really like this store. So let's look around, let's get in the Christmas spirit. Here we go. If I hit the button. Hit the button. There's the button. Okay. Let's look at ornaments really quickly. I love this colorway. Um, I think it looks so good. Is my camera dirty? Was that my camera? All smudgy like that? That's not cute. What's up, Kathleen? Let me... Tomorrow we're gonna go to, um, oh no, it looks like that's not, it's not smudgy. Is it smudgy? It's not smudgy. Yeah, we're shopping. Um, I just wanna, I'm getting myself in the Christmas spirit. <laughs> we're doing it. Today is gonna be a very get in the Christmas spirit kind of day. What's going on? Hey, Lindiana, you guys just popped in here hecka quick. Okay, let's get over to the fabric section. So we can be great. Oh, look at these. I need to make some stockings for everybody. And I want to put, I want to embroider everybody's name on it since I have an embroidery machine. Actually, now I have two embroidery machines, but we're not even going to talk about that just yet. Um, and I'm wondering, am I going to make the stocking? I don't think I am. I don't think we have time for that. But I would like to maybe embroider some. <laughs> You've been sick all week? Look, look Becky. E. I just came from the doctor's office. This is where they decided to get my blood. Well, actually, they, they infused me with iron, and this is where they did it. Ugh, my health stuff is so exhausting. And it's not even that bad. I mean, it's, it's not great. It was all kinds of stuff happening, but I get it. So I'm happy to cheer you up. Oh, look, it's a deer. That just made me happy. There's a cutie patootie, too. What is this, garland? Okay. Oh, I like these. No one took your blood. <laughs> well, they actually it took my blood yesterday. I'm having surgery on Tuesday, guys. You guys send me your well wishes and prayers. I'm sure I will be fine. It's not a big deal. Um, but a little outpatient, sort of, kind of, little. But you guys keep me in prayer and I am um, I think it'll be fine I think I'll be fine the AccuQuilt stocking die I wish it was bigger although I think I say that about many things hey this is where my Disney fabric was the last time I'm concerned because I don't see it which makes me feel like oh I got nervous guys I'm like wait this isn't even holiday fabric this is just licensed fabric what are we doing here? What happened to all the holiday fabric? What did they, they change the store? The holiday section used to be right here. And now, okay. This is really what we're looking for right here. We're looking for these fabrics. This is what I'm looking for. So we've got Grinch. Let me see. We've got Grinchmas here. What is this? I love my employees. I don't know who this is. This is licensed fabric. I don't know what that's... For. Okay, so we've got the Grinch here. We've got the Grinch there. We've got Yoda. This is cute. That's really cute for all my Star Wars people out there. The best things come in small packages. Too cute. I don't know who this is. Is it Snoopy? No, that's not Snoopy. It's cute though. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, I definitely know what this is. Harry Potter. And I'm sure you guys can get all this online. Um, it's on sale, 40% off. And 
tomorrow 40 percent off actually in the if you're in the area in store at sewing arts is 40 percent off right now for their fabrics i was gonna go today but i'm i'm actually not gonna go today this is too cute look at this i feel like i should flip it around no i should not because that's not gonna help i need to be on this side here we go welcome this is cute. I think I really want the other one now. Let's see. I'm going to place this one right here for a moment. Then we have this guy. We're going to do a three-yard quilt. Do I know the pattern? No. And I prefer to start with knowing a pattern and pulling fabrics into it. But I'm not. I like that this is tossed, but it's weird that it's tossed. But it's definitely tossed. Hmm. But I really like this green one over here more than anything. I don't even know that there's a yard on this bolt. So you guys just came and bought up all the fabric? Is that what you guys did? Boy, that's cute. Okay, tell me which one we like the best out of these three. This guy. The lime green right here. Or this one hey guys mickey and barbie are everywhere i ain't seen any barbie yet but we'll get there which one should i get should i go with it really doesn't matter i'm not gonna this is an easy win here you know i'm not gonna mess up disney i got a lot of nerve talking about which one do you want where i don't think there's a yard of fabric on either of those but you like the dark green the best hey lissette oh you're working Thank you for popping in. I hope you uh, pop. Oh, you were at uh, Sewing Arts. The dark green. You like the lime. What's up, Becca? I wish they went together. They don't, though. I mean, I could try to force them together, but I'd have to use more than three fabrics. And I really want it to just be a cute, fun, quick throw. Um, I like the the dark green. Dark green. Dark green, dark green. It looks like you guys like the dark green the best. Okay, I get it. Not the white though, huh? You guys not, not feeling that white one? But the dark green is awesome. That is super cute. I think that's the one that I was dying to get back to. Okay guys, we're gonna get the dark green. What are we gonna put with it? Who knows? It probably would have been helpful had I gotten a you think they go together? Well, in the sense that they're, I mean, they could. You could put just about anything with anything. But I'm already doing an ugly Christmas um, sweater um, quilt that I've decided that I'm calling that one that is super wild that we pulled from before. So I'm going to go grab a basket really quickly. <clears throat> Look at all this fabric, guys. I feel so lucky to be by this Joann's. The dark green? Okay, brown sugar. That's what we doing. We're going to do the dark green. If I hurry up and get back there, I feel like it's so little on the bolt and the way that I have it, somebody's going to walk by and just grab it. And then we have to do that white. <laughs> Let me grab a basket. All right. So now we can be great. Here we go. Look at all the Christmas decor. Oh, there's some more stockings. None that I'm loving, loving. You know, the best way to get a stocking is really just to probably make your own. So, I have not started decorating yet. I'm going to wait until after the surgery on Tuesday, um, and which is actually Thanksgiving. So obviously I'm not going to decorate until after Thanksgiving this year, but I want to make it really special because my auntie Dee Dee um, lost her daughter suddenly uh, this, this year, my cousin. I was actually on a live when I got the news. I don't know if you guys remember, it was not the greatest day, but in all that to say, this will be her first holiday without her it'll be my first holiday without her and i want to make it really special so i'm gonna deck the heck out of the halls 
um, in my parents' house. Mine too, but that's where she'll be staying. So, we've got to do some nice stuff. So, I'm going to show you guys kind of my decoration stuff too. Okay, we're going with dark green. It's happening. Boy, that's cute. I hope it's a yard on here. It might be. It'll probably be just a yard. One, two, three, four. Is that a yard, guys? I counted that like I was going to know. Am I buying enough fabric to know? But I totally don't know. There's definitely yardage on this guy. Not a whole bunch, but more. All right, let's go see what else they have in the holiday section because that's all they have in the licensed. Look, it's, it's Knott's fabric. Guess what? I'm getting ready to go to Knott's in a minute. As soon as I get off this live, I'm driving straight to Knott's. Is that Nightmare Before Christmas? It is, and there is less than like, it's probably a half a yard of this. Is it weird that I want to put it with the other one? It doesn't go. I'm just kidding. All right. Let's see what else we have here. More licensed fabric, which I love. If you guys are ever looking for licensed fabric, and licensed fabric would be your Disney, your friends, your, I don't know, your all, oh, look at this. I haven't seen this one before. This is new to me. This is where, I mean, you know, I do not push going to Joann's. Oh, I love this. Oh my God, guys. I do not promote buying fabric for no reason, but we're buying this. We're buying it. There's no reason to have it, but we're buying it. I do not promote this. We're buying that. It's happening. Um, if you have licensed needs outside of Disney, um, we've got, okay, that's Disney. That's Monsters trying to show you something other than Disney it's not happening but anyway licensed fabric Joann's is the place to go loose heads are creepy <laughs> that's a funny sentence um but they have all different kinds of license there we go cookie monster um Joann's is the place to come people ask me all the time like I need some spider-man fabric where do I get it I'm like go to go to Joann's that's what we use them for Ooh, would this be cute with this look it's peppermint all right so I'm in the holiday section ouch ouch there's like no fabric on here I obviously have waited too long to be great that's kind of cute huh you guys like that it's kind of cute it's an idea who's this these are some Santa Clauses these are cute Hey, Santas. I like that they have the little candy canes, too. Should we throw Santa in with the, um, you like the colorful snowflakes? They are a vibe, for sure. They're actually my kind of vibe. You did, made a shopping bag? Oh, I forgot. I need to be buying, fra well, I'm going to buy fabric tomorrow, too. So it's not like I'm about to stop. It's not like I'm not going to be in a store. I'm usually in a store once a week, which is why I should really be going live once a week with you guys because I'm always in a store. I really like this. Do you guys like this one? It's green and red and it's gold. It's like super gold. We've got a plaid here. Plaid. If I use this one more time, I just need to be in trouble because... Life is too short to use the exact same fabric twice. I've done it. I do it here and there, but not all the time. Um, I like that plaid, too. It's a pretty plaid. That's a good plaid. I like that. And I think it's got a little sparkle to it. Okay, a little sparkle. I've waited too long. I should have. You know what? And didn't I see it in July? I think I was here in July. I might have waited too long. This peppermint fabric is cute too. Should we go with the peppermint vibe since Disney, since this has, um, I am too tickled about that ice cream fabric. Since it has peppermints on there. I'd like to do something kind of strange with this because I am who I am, but I don't know. It would be kind of cool to play off the yellow which is probably not a Christmas color that you guys would have thought I would want to play with, but we get it that it's holiday because it's, you know, look at the subject matter of the thing. But what if we did some yellow with it? What if we did peppermint and yellow? Would that be weird? 
peppermint works. The plaid is awesome. I think the peppermint works too, but which peppermint? We've got a whole thing of peppermints right here, which is very cute. That could be an option. Um, let's see, do I see just straight up stripes? Boy, this is beautiful next to it. Look at this, this is gorgeous. That's a nice fabric. It's kind of got like a lotus -y feel to it. And then for all my dog lovers, that's cute. Santa, okay. I need a belt. Yep, I'm at, uh-huh. For a Shake Shack lunch. Is there a Shake Shack in Delamo? Yellow would be weird. Then maybe we need to go for yellow. Do they have yellow Christmas? Is that a thing? <laughs> Is that a thing? Hmm. Now we've entered into blues. This is a beautiful fabric. This is really pretty. That's gorgeous. Huh, I didn't know that. Okay, Shake Shack. We've got Dinosaur Christmas down here. None of these colors are going with what we are working with. But I just want to show you guys the cute stuff that they have. In case you were like me and did not go in July like we should have. And you're looking for some holiday fabrics. This looks like straight up wrapping paper. Can you guys see the sparkle? I love that this looks like wrapping paper. I see some more plaid that could work. Very traditional. <laughs> Look, oh, this is interesting. I've never seen bees done in holiday fabric before. You guys want a bumblebee Christmas? Becca, Halloween can be for year round. No judgment for me. Teresa, you're right. Maybe we should go yellow. I could do yellow with this. But it's got to, and it's funny because the gold section is right in front of me. So maybe we will go gold. We got some traditional colors here. Oh, no, I'm not going to put the bees in with it. <laughs> but that yellow would go, huh? Okay, now I like this polka dot. That's beautiful. Nice polka dot, but then I'm a polka dot girl. This is a shiny, shiny red. It feels kind of Disney-esque. Can you guys see the shine on it? What if we did that red, just a plain old red, and got like a really nice busy yellow with it? It would be great if I could find like a yellow plaid. Does yellow plaid exist? Now I have got ventured into other um, holidays. Oh, I like this. This also looks like gift wrapping paper. Yeah, the polka dot was super cute. It's the only polka dot I can see. But again, we've we've already realized that I am not. Um, oh, this is nice. This plaid has got a a weave to it and it's got a shine. Can you guys see that shine? Yeah, you can see it. Look at that. Ooh, I like it. You guys want to see the polka dot with Mickey? I don't know if it looks good with Mickey, but let's take a look at it. The colors are a little... Actually, it's not bad. It's not bad. The greens are not... Actually, huh. Okay, so check this color out right here, this one, with Minnie's and Mickey's little hats here. It's not bad. It's not horrible. We've, we've pulled worse. <laughs> we've done worse. Hmm. Okay, we'll leave that as an option. That might work. Um, let's see. 
I love this big swirl here. Um, it's pretty. Yep, I'm petting fabric, guys. These Christmas trees are cute. Anything else jumping out at us? Look at the big old Santa's face. That's a really nice um, illustration of Santa. I like that. Bobbles. I'm not feeling bobbles for this for this one. I love that they have this tan. You want to do a gingerbread Christmas? Okay, so go see the yellow. Okay, we're going to go see the yellow in just a minute. We're definitely going to do some yellow. I like that we're going there. I love it when we go someplace, you know, a little, a little different and call it what we want. We're back at these colorful snowflakes y'all like. That's definitely not going to work, but good fabric is just good fabric. All right. Let's see. Let's try the yellow section. Alright, I see some yellow, like, um, what do I see? Okay. Alright. There's a yellow, no, it's more of a, it's darker, it's not quite yellow plaid. I really want a yellow plaid, but, I don't know. Why are we tilted like that? There we go. Hmm. Anything jumping out at anybody just yet? Got a honeycomb over there. Lindy, do you like yellow? I don't know that I... Do I use a lot of yellow? I don't know. If somebody told you guys to pull my color palette, what would you guys pull? That's a good way to find out what I use. Because I, in my mind, I don't know. I do so much of so, so I do so much with so much. I don't know that I have a one that I just um, use all the time. Rainbow, yeah, okay. <laughs> I was wondering if somebody was gonna say it. That yellow polka dot isn't horrible, but there's, is there any white in here? A little. A stripe is that a straight stripe because I don't want to be cutting stuff straight I don't feel like it hmm that gold looks like it, it matches pretty good but that's just a straight gold I don't want that or do I nope 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 none of these are doing what I want I have to cut that straight and I don't want to be bothered with that that could work. You love the mini Mickey? We are trying to make this into, that could work right there. That could absolutely work. Is there a fly in here trying to follow me around? I don't appreciate that, Mr. Fly. Okay, I see a couple that could possibly work. Let me pull them out. <clears throat> this guy could work. This is called, what are you called? Keepsake calico. That goes really well. I, that Santa is such a pretty one. Okay, this one could work. Um, the swirly yellow. Where the swirly yellow go? I know I saw a swirly yellow. I saw a polka dot. I think that yellow kind of, oddly enough, it it gives Mickey a kind of a sophistication to it. I don't know. Um, that's it's a sophisticated kind of print. It's not super whimsical, in my opinion. Where did you see a swirly yellow? I see some yellows here. That's some dragonflies. That's a polka dot. This is actually quite fun. You know, we should do fabric pulls more often. Maybe we'll do a lot of fabric pulls next year, says the person who just said yesterday, I'm not going to be buying fabric. I don't need a bunch of fabric. Maybe we should do a fabric pull for my stash, which I now have, which I never wanted. I wanted to see what this looked like next to it. This is a 
Can you guys see the shine on it? It's got a glitter to it. You guys like that? It's it's rich. It's got a shimmer. It's a little. I'm going to pull that gingham down in just a second. <laughs> Becca, you love watching me shop. <laughs> um, where that where the gingham go? I saw a gingham. Here it is right here. But then I'm going to have to cut it straight and it, you know, <laughs> I'm going to have to iron it and you know, work for it. Then this 3 yard quilt got complicated. <laughs> the color is actually spot on just about in person. But hey BFF. Um that goes with her shoes. It costs you nothing. It costs you a thumbs up. Make sure you guys are hitting that thumbs up button. <laughs> While you guys are vicariously hanging out with me, shopping with me. Don't forget, pay your taxes at the door. <laughs> There's 50 people in here. Let's try to get this 50 uh, thumbs up. This one goes really well too, color wise. No to the gingham, it's a different vibe. Okay. The gingham will, I, and I don't want to cut straight. This one probably doesn't have a yarn on it, but it, it does. I, I like it. It's kind of, I think the better one was the, was that, um, where did this come from? It feels like it go here. I think the better one was the kind of the sophisticated print, the somewhat sophisticated, it kind of has a sophistication to it. Am I going to mess that up with a crazy um, red? Maybe, maybe. This feels warm. It feels inviting. You guys like this one? I think we can go with that one. The red and white would match the hearts. The red and white would match the hearts. Hey, Miss Patty, which um, which red and white? Now we have this guy here. I'm gonna put you guys down for a second. <clears throat> I like that too. I'm gonna put you down. I'm gonna lift you up. And then we are going to, what are we gonna do? Let's look at this really quickly. I'm gonna flip you around to me. There I am. Okay. Not me getting stopped at the doctor's office for this t-shirt, guys. They're coming, they're coming, they're coming. They will be on the website soon. You guys might have them already. These ones are just a little different, a little bit brighter, blah, blah, blah. They're coming. Is this, this is the, oh, I thought this was the pop culture one. This is the culture center training. All right, here we go. I'm feeling this. It's a vibe. You guys like it? I like this. I like this one. I don't know that it, again, I don't know if there's a yard. There's a yard on here. There's a yard. Yes, there's definitely, there's definitely a yard on here. But I don't know that these all go together. No, I don't think this goes. I don't feel like this works. This does not feel like it works. We're gonna switch out. We're gonna switch out this red for something different. Something else. What if we tried something really no no do that? <laughs> what if we let's just entertain. Let's just entertain for just a second the this color right here. Let's entertain, it's like a mint. Let's entertain mint and let's entertain pink. I'm not saying we're gonna do it. Yeah, you were right there with me. I'm not saying we're gonna do it, but we're gonna entertain it. Where is mint? Here it is over here. I'll be right back. I wish I had one of the ones that just like followed me. <laughs> There's the mint right there. Um, I want this to be bluer than it is, but it's actually greener than I thought. Nope. Are you guys still with me?
Okay, so no to the no to the mint. It's not quite not candy cane, but peppermint. Peppermint candies. What's the difference between a candy cane and peppermint? Have the red and white stripes like candy canes. Go for a solid mint. They don't have a um. <laughs> hey, Jay Pike, what's going on? How are you doing? I love when you pop in. It brings me so much joy. Um, this. This is a hard color to match in here. Like, I know that if we were at M&L, we could find a, um, a, can't you guys see my whole face? What is happening? There I am. Um, we could find a, yeah, I think we better go back to the reds. I'm going to grab a, I'm going to grab a, I'm going to grab pink really quickly. Just to see, just to see really quickly. The pinks are down yonder. And they don't have a super large selection of pinks, so. But we are going to grab some pinks. Just a second. I'm going to let... Boy, this is cute. Isn't it cute? Oh, love this guy. Okay, so this far, if you're just popping in, I need my thumbs up, please. <laughs> and this is what we're going with right now. Just in case you're just popping in, this is what we're starting with. We need to pull one more color for a three yard quilt and we don't know the pattern yet. Feel free to shout out patterns if you guys have any good, good ideas. I'm gonna grab this pink. Pink is over here, but there was somebody over there and I didn't wanna be all in her Kool-Aid, so. Pinks are down there. Give me a second, let's go pink. Oddly enough, this is the color that matches dead on. It's a spot on. And it's it's got some texture. Oh, who am I talking to? Here I am. Here I here I am. It's got um it's got some texture to it. It's not just straight, which would be my preference. I really don't want to put a solid in that position. Can you guys see it? Sugar pie? Maybe so. I I think I know exactly which one sugar pie is. I think. Okay, so that's the pink. Let's see what it looks like with the yellow. Do you guys get holiday vibes from this? I get kind of ice cream holiday. Nope, I don't get holiday vibes from this, but it does work. <laughs> but it totally, it totally looks good. What if I put like a candy cane stripe on it or something? Oh my God, I can't believe you guys like this. It's kind of like grungy and it's, when I say it's a dead match, it randomly matches. Maybe if I just use like a kiss of it, like maybe we do a snowball. What does the sugar pie pattern look like? Somebody describe it for me real quick. I, I'm thinking I know which one. This green, it's it's an evergreen. It's it's forest green, it's deep. It's not a, um, it's a deeper green. It's not a bright green, it's a Christmas tree kind of green. Hey, Diane. Debbie says no pink. I feel you, Debbie. I am not a pink girl. However, this one goes so well. I really am saying it really does. Okay. I'm going to show you another pink really quickly. Don't freak out, guys. We are just testing it. That's the key to having nice random selections and also jogging your, your brain to think about stuff outside the box. Okay, that just went so left. That's wrong but the color does match. I'm just saying, this is wrong, but the color matches. The pink is kind of cute, and I am not your pink kind of girl. And it's not, it's a deeper pink, it's a rose. It's not like bubble gummy, it's deeper. Okay, we're gonna go, I'm gonna keep this for a second, then we're gonna go back to the reds. Or we can look at the reds over here too. They had some cute pinks. I wanna bring you with me for a second. No, we're not definitely not doing the polka dot. Okay, I want you guys to actually see the, um, you sent me a quick email. Oh, is the, um, is the picture of the, the, the cherry pie in there? 
you guys i need to get some um i need to get some moderators in here because not because anybody's being mean or anything like that it's just i need somebody who's gonna say hey to people i need somebody who's gonna say um you know thumbs up you guys know what moderators do look at this this is so pretty it's a fairy frost and i didn't know they had fairy frost here there's a traditional polka dot which could go we should look at that with it just because oh that red could go with it nicely that one could these are some nice rich reds these are not in the holiday section but they are some rich reds let's see here Ooh. Ooh. these reds are so, i don't maybe i just like red which is possible Red is my husband's favorite color. Oh, there's a funky dot, which I kind of like. It's not um, so perfect. Let's take a look at these reds with it. Cause trying to convince Auntie Didi that this is holiday might be, that <laughs> might be a, might be a stretch guys. She might say, what holiday are you thinking? All right, let me try these. Let's look at them. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. All right. So this is what this looks like with just a good old Disney polka dot. This feels very Disney. This also doesn't feel like regular cotton. So this feels super Disney, right? Super Disney. Mac holiday. <laughs> All right, that's one red. I'm gonna go grab a couple more. How are you? I'm willing yourself. You're, I want to learn how to quilt. You do? Yes. I have a YouTube channel now. I'm live and you're literally standing in front of it, which is fine. Say, hey. Hi. We just met a new Quilty BFF. <laughs> These are my Quilty BFFs. Oh, hi. Come on over. Look at, we hang out. We go shopping. We do all the things. If you want to learn quilt, come on over to my channel. Here, I'll really? give you a, mm -hmm. Yes. I'll give you a business card and we. I would love that. There are guilds all around. I go to all the stores that I'm are all really around. I'm excited. There's a huge community. You just have to find it and you just found it. And quilting by hand? So do you there do are. The stitching by well, hand? let me tell the truth. That's not my favorite method of quilting. Okay. <laughs> but there are plenty of people that I know that will hook you up. And with do that. I need a sewing machine? You don't need one, but I do quilt by machine. Okay. Okay. That's my favorite way to do it. Okay. But there are so many people in our guild who do it just by hand. Okay. Yeah, I'll tell That's you all wonderful. the places to I go. have a friend and we were just saying that we would love to like oh, learn jump in. how to jump, craft. Jump in. How to quilt. Jump in with us. Okay, it's great. It's so much fun. And there's a huge show coming up that's not too far away. So okay, wonderful. Pop in so that you can know all the things that are happening. Thank you so much. Oh, you're more than welcome. It was nice meeting you. Yes, likewise. Okay, guys, look at this one. Oh, this feels so rich. Ooh, it looks good. Oh, I like this one. Okay. But it might be the size of the dot might be a little too close to the size of the other one. Depends upon the pattern. If we did a pattern where, oh, this looks good together, guys. This looks so good together. It doesn't look bad. It just depends upon that, the pattern. Hey, Cindy. Sugar pie. It's 12. Let me look up sugar pie real quick. If you guys haven't done so already, don't forget, give me the thumbs up really quick. Let me see if I can not drop the uh, the chat on brand. I was looking at the, um, I thought I was still talking to you guys. Apparently I can't do that. Um, I'm looking at the pattern. I don't love the, it, no, it wasn't Joanne's Wi-Fi. That was me. That was definitely me. Um, I don't love that second border, but I can change it out. And sugar pie could totally work for this. Totally work. I could buy a little bit more of one of these and just switch out the border. I don't like the number one where the number one is sitting. <clears throat> I don't love it. I don't like where the number one sits on the border. I like the pattern. It was just the, you know. I think the polka dot is super Disney, um, which is cute, but I like this one better. Big square for, for sure, the big square for the focus. It's just that first border that I'm kind of like, eh, eh. Um, let me grab like two or three more reds and then I'll be ready. Right
Okay, so I grabbed these reds. And I grabbed this red, which kind of has a, I'm not going to say what I'm thinking it looks like because I don't want to freak anybody out. And once I say it, you won't be able to unsee it. But this red here, pinwheel lane pattern. Okay, I'm going to come back and look at all the patterns, although I should look at them right now, although the last time I tried to jump off of this, I accidentally <laughs> froze everybody, and I, I don't want to freeze everybody again. Um, I do, it's like a tiny bit of texture, which is kind of cool because it's smaller than the other ones, so they're not fighting. These two are kind of fighting, but depending upon how we use it, in that sugar pie, the striping is so small, and it's like an equal amount of that that border that goes around so that they're not super duper fighting. I hope that's making sense. I really do like this one the best so far. I like that combination the best, but let's try it with, let's swap this out. Swap this out with this. Tell me what you guys think. You guys like this one? Any thoughts on this one? It feels very Disney. Anytime you put a polka dot in something, it's kind of, um, okay. So you guys are liking the dot, that dot. Tell me if you like with the snakes. No, I said it out loud. I did not mean to say it. <laughs> Tell me if you like it with this one. You guys like the dots? You like the small dots? And then I pulled this other one that I don't think we're gonna like. Nope, we don't like it. Mm -mm, we don't even like that one. Okay, so, all right, we've narrowed it down. Um, to what? Okay, I'm gonna call this palette number one. Don't vote yet. I'm calling this one number one. So this is palette number one. This is with the pink. It's weird. It's different. It is probably very strange. It's not something you would see on anybody else's channel. But this is palette number one, okay? Remember this. Don't vote yet. That's number one. This is going to be number two. Palette number two. Don't vote yet. And then Scattered Dots is going to be palette number three. All right, you guys, tell me what you want. Palette one with the pink, palette two with the tone on tone dots, or palette number three with the polka dots. Tell me what you guys like. Three, 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 two. I like two, two, Susan. Ooh, I like two, one or two. Really, Becky? One or two? <laughs> you like one? Ooh, look at all the pink lovers out there. You guys say three, two. Is anybody counting? Two. The dots remind me of many. Yeah, me too. Always. Two, three, three, two. Two. Go ahead, take your time. Get the votes in. I'm going to put up some fabric. You guys keep telling me which ones. And I'm going to put back some of this fabric. I'm going to leave the ones there that we know we don't want. Three. <laughs> Are you voting too? <laughs> I love that you're still here and you're voting and you're hanging out. <laughs> oh, let's see. You like two? Okay. This is why I need a moderator. Somebody tell me what we're doing. Or tell me, somebody tell me what the winner is. Somebody, somebody do a count for me so I can put this back and be a good um, Joanne's shopper. Gallery pattern. Okay. I'm going to look at the patterns in just a second. I don't know how I'm going to do that exactly. Can you bring over the shiny red one you want to see with me? Yeah, I will. I will bring over the shiny red one.
Okay, did we figure out who? I'm gonna go grab the shiny one. Did we figure out what one? Did two win? Two one? There are three for one, ten for two, and seven for three. It looks like number two won. Is it sad that I have no idea what palette number two is? No clue, guys. Yep. That's your quilty BFF. Don't judge me, just love her. This is the red one. Can you guys see it in the sun? Oh, look at that red. I like that red, too. I also brought over this because it's just cool. This is what it would have looked like with this shimmer. Can you guys see the shimmer on this? It's super shiny. I could have made this work, but that green is off. But it's very cool. I'm moving it around weird like that because it's got to shine. I like shiny too. Okay, Lindiana, what do we have here? What one? Um, two. Two is the dot. Is the tone on tone dot right? Is two the tone on tone? The plaid's too busy. It's it is busy. I don't know if I'd say it's too busy, but you know it's busy. You really like the 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 shiny. Um, two was the pink. Two was not the pink. <laughs> two <laughs> two was not the pink. I think the pink was one. The red tone on top. <laughs> oh, somebody babies now. Two is the tone on tone. Okay, so we are going to do the red. That shiny red goes hard though. I will say it's super cute. Okay, so this is what one, this is the palette. Whoop, whoop. I love it. I like the red too, but as you know, these fabrics, they totally work in quilts, but they are, it's, you know, it's not the most cuddly, but it works. You guys know exactly how this feels. You guys can probably hear it it's pretty and it looks good with Mickey um but that's our palette and I'm also buying those Disney cones for no reason I have no idea what we're gonna do with that I need to do well we'll just I'll wait for another day so I grab this I've been wanting to take care of this I also need to make a Christmas pot holder thread catcher or pin cushion i'm not making a pin cushion i'm not making a thread catcher so it's gonna be a pot holder i'm known for the pot holders that that are the long ones which i quite enjoy i use mine constantly everybody i've given them to uses them they love them except for the one lady that got the tulip pink one she refuses to use it because she thinks it's too pretty but i'll do a fabric pull for that um I don't know what fabrics I want to use for that. I don't know if I want to go holiday or if I just want to make a pretty pot holder. And then we'll do a bag to put that in to take to the the um, exchange at the guild. It's a guild exchange. And then what else? Oh, I really want to do a circle quilt. I haven't done a circle quilt in a while. You like the plaid for the pot holders? If we if we go that way, then it's gonna be it's gonna have to be like a whole holiday theme. And I don't know if people, you know, I don't know. Do you really want to use? I want to. I kind of want to do a pot holder that you can use year round and not feel funny about it. But that could be the bag. I don't know. I love doing fabric bags. Carolina Moore has the world's best bag pattern. Thank you. A lot of people like that pot holder, the Tula pot holder, and nobody would be surprised that the the bag that I brought was Tula. Okay, so that's the palette. Is there anything else? That, let me put these back and then we will go to the cut counter. I don't think there's anything else we need to see. We kind of went through the holiday fabric. I really like that fabric that looks like gift wrapping. It tickles me. Oh, Lindiana, use it. Cut it up. Cut with courage. I can't wait till these shirts get up on this website. It's 
Oh, a thorn in my side, guys. All right. I think you guys chose a beautiful palette. I keep staring at it. This red in person looks so luxe. It's a luxe looking red in person. It's some nice fabric. I know we, we get on Joann's about having fabric that's not as nice as the quilting stores because there is a difference. But that's a, a nice, it has a nice hand. And we got this from the holiday section. I love pulling fabrics with my Quilty BFFs. I just had such a good time with you guys. All right, so we have now, again, if you just now pop it in, this is our color palette for our three yard Disney quilt. Don't expect that to come <laughs> until a little bit later. We've got a couple other projects. And I'm buying this because I accidentally touched it and saw it and now, you know, I have to have it for no reason. I hate when I do that. I hate when I do it. What is this going to be? I don't know. I can make it into a bag, right? I go to the parks, what, once a week? Make it a bag. Make it something. All right, to the cut counter we go. I love this community so much. If you guys are, not me dropping the fabric. If you guys are interested in being a moderator, let me know. You guys are here all the time. Um, I just, you know, I'm not, I, I actually need one for the, the community too, which is being built right now also. So I need a couple. I need some on YouTube. If you're here all the time and you roll with me, I would love it if you would drop me a line or put a note here or something, I don't know. Can I be any less formal? <laughs> I just need a little bit of help, guys. Just a little bit. Not a whole bunch. Just a little bit. If you're planning on joining the community, you're already planning on joining. I think I might be able to get you in there um, for free. I got to figure that out. But anyway, I need some moderators. <laughs> I need some help, guys. Help me be great. Hi. Shall I do the name thing or it's just... No. Okay. I can't go for that. Are you guys listening to the music? That's probably going to get me copywritten. Hello. May I have a yard of each, please? Mm. Thank you. I am live right now. I'm just letting you know. Okay. <laughs> no one's waiting. No. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Ooh, electric cutters. We've got electric cutters here. That's amazing. Just a prototype. We don't sell it. Oh, that's all right. Good thing to have. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it because I do. I just need a little bit of help. Just somebody to say hello to people and remind everybody to give a thumbs up if they're popping in and subscribe and maybe drop some links every now and then if I shout something out or as usual not know the pattern or something if you guys think of any patterns that would be super cute for this let me know and then i'll go through them and then i will um pick one and tell you guys why i picked it and then we'll make it we will make it i'm just spinning around in circles because this store is awesome you guys want to see the um the notion section While he's over there cutting away. Buttons galore. I want to do something with these buttons so bad. I love these buttons, of course, because they have Disney buttons, but I just love buttons. Oh, I'm so happy I lifted your spirits. You lifted my spirits. Look at these. What am I? Oh, I'm gonna put those buttons on something. It might go on that bag that I need to make. <laughs> the one. Oh, I could have totally put that on a buy any bag. I've got to figure out, we are, we've got some ribbons here, 
Oh, I needed some D-rings. Yeah, remember that day I was searching for D-rings? When I was making that bag and I couldn't find anything? Come on. No, don't apologize. Shop. Do your thing. <laughs> um, good to know that they have them here. Buttons and... I just like notions. Obviously, I'm a notions girl. Oh, they have brassiers. I, don't, I wasn't expecting that. We got some fusing shape. I didn't know they had fusing shape here. No, it's fast to fuse that I use, not fuse and shape. Fusible fleece. Oh, I'm so happy that you guys are enjoying this. My manager told me a long time ago I should take you guys with me everywhere I go since I'm always somewhere. And I think she was right. She's like my mother. She's often, often, often right. It's very annoying. But that's why she's my manager and I pay her the big bucks. <laughs> Look at all these needles. Ooh, needle heaven. Schmetz. Do I need any needles? I don't think I do. They've got singer needles, which are different than every other needle that I have to use for my singer. Some good old drip stuff. <laughs> You're not a crafter, but you love going in craft stores. I just am so tickled that you even pop onto my channel. I know Jeff or, or Pike from... Um, from uh what is it from adventures in design from bricky's channel he's a disney lover just like me but today i'm going to knots because i haven't been a knots in 20 years thank you so much i haven't been a knots in 20 years and today's the first day of the holidays and i'm in the mood to get into a a holiday season so a holiday mood and so this is how we're doing it <clears throat> all right let me see here. I'm gonna go through this last little notion section here where the rulers are, just to see if there's anything else that I need to get. Yeah, it's been a and then we can check out um, the ruler section really quick. Not the, the, the mats. I wanna look at their cutting mats. June Taylor, anything good? We've got Quilt As You Go, Sew By Number. All the good stuff is not in here right now. They are a little low on stock. I was looking to see if they had any good um, mug rugs. They have some placemats. One of my videos that does well around this time of year is like the mug rug videos. They're really cute. Oh, here's some mug mats. I think I have these though. I know I have this one. These are cute. You make them and then insert these little panels. Just a cute little gift, fast gift, because it's basically like making a quilt block and quilting it. It is, that's exactly what it is actually. Look at all the holiday stuff. Ooh, they hit the ornament section hard. But I realize. Are these the only napkins you guys have that box Yeah, it's pretty much just, season, just seasonal. Mm -hmm. okay. I just want to look at the section over here really quickly and then I will check out I can't think of anything else that I need but I've just been this fabric has been on my mind ever since I saw it the other day so had to have it this one is too it's just big it's definitely barren it's just it's not super stocked the way I want it to be sorry guys I had to stop and look at the stripes and just see what fabric they had right here. This is a cute one too. I like that. I like this. Look at that Santa. Oh, they have avocados as Santas. Oh my goodness, donations absolutely help. <laughs> they help a ton. Thank you guys so much for keeping the channel going. Um, I appreciate you guys so much, so much. Thank you so much for helping me out. I do a lot, and for a while, it was for funsies, but now it's a business, and we are just making some moves. You guys are watching me grow. Um, somebody said the other day, they were with me when I had 4,000 subscribers. It's crazy to think that I have more than that right now. It's crazy to me. Oh, there's a 28 rotary. 
I like that one. I've never seen that 28. Have you guys ever seen that one before? I haven't. My favorite is an Ulfa right now. I want to try. I thought I owned um, Alex Anderson's, but I don't. I was actually embarrassed the other day. Look at this. Now, this wall is a wall where I can just hang out for a while. I recently purchased another cutting mat. And as much as I like it, I do like it. I like the markings and stuff. I miss this area right here, which I use, I used to use. And I kind of hate that it's not there. But other than that, I think the black is just a little bit, it's, it's, it's prettier. I do not like that green. I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. And then we have some Omni Grip rulers here, but eh. The best rulers on the market, in my opinion, are Quilter Select. I've only had one person who say that she doesn't like them who has tried them, and that's because she likes to nudge her ruler, and a Quilter Select ruler, you ain't nudging. But I'm gonna start using my handle grip with the Quilter Select rulers so that I can just lift it up if I need to, although I usually don't really need to nudge very much. All right. Look at all that fabric they've got to put back. Not because of me, because you guys saw I put my fabric back like a good customer. <laughs> all right, we are winding down. We did a good hour, which is what I wanted to do. And now I'm going to go grab some gas and go to the parks. Um, what's I going to tell you guys tomorrow? If everything goes the way I want it to, I will be in Sewing Arts tomorrow. You guys can see what you want because they are also having 40% off of everything. They felted these. These balls are felted. Look, you can see the poke marks. They're cute. I like it. I like this. I feel like I should buy some. No, I'm gonna deal with all this after Tuesday when I am after Tuesday. Ooh, ornament. Little little ones to make. All right, let me get this over here. Oh, should I embroider some towels this year? I've been threatening to give my girlfriend an embroidered towel with her name on it forever, and she doesn't want it. She said her grandmother used to do that all the time, and I've decided that I am going to take up where her grandmother left off and give her embroidered towels every year. I've just decided. I need some good towel blanks though. I don't want any that aren't nice. Okay. All right. I'm just looking to see the decor. It's pretty. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Bye, Lana twice walk back I'm in um, Los I'm in Torrance California and it is definitely it's definitely a good one it's probably the it's the biggest one next to the one that I think it's in uh, there's one in Ohio but it's not bigger than this one this is a superstore this is their flagship not flagship I think that one's the flagship but it's a super Joann's it's got everything it's got all the things. <clears throat> all right, guys, if you made it to the end, we do this thing now where I have you type in a word that has nothing to do with what we're doing. So today it's gonna be, oh, let's make it, uh, let's make it, mm, I was gonna, uh, what's a good word? Let me see, let's make it, Let's make it a swan. <laughs> Let's type the word swan. It has nothing to do with anything, but if you made it to the end and you type it, I'll know that you rode with me the whole time. All right, I am checking out of here. Let me see, tomorrow. Check back in tomorrow. Um, we will see what we, what we get into at Sewing Arts. I wanna show you guys all the madness over there. 40% off of fabric is a really big deal, especially if you are, you know, oh well, 
Uh, well, the online shopping starts on Monday. But anyway, 40% off is a big deal. It's a big deal for a small business shop to be able to do that. And it's a big deal for us to go ahead and support. So I would definitely want to show you guys. Again, type the word in Swan if you made it to the end, if you hung out with me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will catch you guys on the next one. If you haven't done so already, please like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you so much for hanging out with me. All right, guys. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.